Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye as well for all the nice stuffs right there. Uh, in the last video, just a quick recap, we worked with uh, enemies and their health bars so we can see what's going on. And then we also planned on doing some more stuff like an enemy GUI system, but we didn't really get to it. I didn't really get to it actually, but today we're going to get to that kind of, and we're going to start off also fixing some stuff with the weapons and the melee stuff. First of all, I want to fix the range just to make sure the range is fine. So if you open your melee weapons file here or your, here we go. Let's see, melee weapon H, um, sword dot H and we want weapon.h here we go so we have the range in the weapon and whenever we set create a weapon we don't actually give it a a range per se all right we're not giving it a range we're just creating a weapon and it has 30 so i'm going to try off 50 here and what does check the range we have to recap that as well so i'm going to go into game uh, game state dot cpp and I'm going to go to update combat and enemies and we'll check. Here we go. And we'll check update combat and we're getting the range. Get distance from the player is less than weapon the range from the enemy. And that'll be fine. So now the range will be incre increased, but what we're getting the distance here, we're getting the center of the player. So let me see that. Let's double check if it's correct because we had some strange stuff happening, but we'll see. So we'll run this, we'll go new game and we'll see. So from here to here, the limit seems to be right there, but bottom, top to bottom. Okay. We got pretty much the same. All right. So where, where it's working. That's a good way to check it. Just make sure the range is at the tip of the sword, something like that. And you'll be fine. So we fixed that for now. Uh, we created a weapon, which is like hard coded 50 range so that's not very good but we'll get to that also one thing i wanted to change was this damage so i'm getting the damage max here but if we go to our weapon.h all we have is get damage min get damage max so what i want to do is i want to make a const unsigned uh here we go and we'll just keep it a not a reference get damage damage Oh my God, there we go, const. And this is gonna randomize the damage for us, okay? And this is something that will, uh, let's go to that file, sort weapon.cpp, and this will randomize something for us. So rand, okay, so I changed a few things. I'm gonna try to explain this as well as I can to you guys. Um, this calculation with the rand is gonna happen first and then we'll add something to it. So the reason I did it like this, damage max minus damage min plus damage min in the end here is because I want a randomization between five and two. So what this does is it's gonna give me something and I need a plus one here as well. It's gonna give me something between five minus two, which is three. So all, all in all, this is gonna be three, okay? Plus one, so four. But what C++ is gonna do then, it's gonna give me a value between zero and zero and three, okay? Because we have four here, so it will do zero, one, two, three, or four, one of those. Zero, one, two, or three, okay? That's what I want. I want a three here, and then this calculation will be done, the RAND part, so we'll have anything here. We'll say we have three, plus this damage minimum, which is two, okay? So that gives me a five, the maximum damage possible. Imagine this part is zero, this gives me zero, plus this damage minimum will give me a minimum value of two no matter what. So no matter what damage I roll here, it's always gonna be minimum two, and all of this together at its maximum value is gonna be five. So that's why I did it this way, and hopefully it's gonna work fine. And that's how we want it, uh, and that's how, it's gonna be for every weapon pretty much, so we don't have to define this in every weapon class. Uh, just make sure you have it this way and you will be good. Now, if we go to our game state and instead of get damage, we get damage max, we just do get damage. 
And then if we run this, you'll see that it's going to be a random between five and to whatever values I have here. So if we go in and check, it's between one and two. So hopefully it'll give me a two once in a while and a one once in a while. So we'll see if we're lucky. Two, two, one. Okay, see? Two, two, one, one. And then two, one, 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 one. See? A good, nice, random value right there. Another thing we're going to want to do is we would like to create a weapon. Create a weapon where we can give it either from a file. All right. Either from a file or randomize a weapon. And that's a great way to get stuff done. Now, melee weapons, I probably want a set range depending on it, but we'll, we'll set a different range for these that you can choose from, that the system can choose from when it randomizes a weapon. So that's pretty much what I want to do. I want to just go ahead and create a nice constructor here that will work with until the next one. So a texture damage, min, range, everything. All we need is a weapon, weapon value, and then whatever the texture file here. Okay. And then we want all the other stuff as well. So damage, unsigned damage min, max. And this is going to be our all super, super constructor, unsigned range and value and all that. We'll pretty much put that down there, put that down there. This is all damage related range and uh, combat related. Then we have the value and then all this stuff. And I want to define this. And when defining this, I'm going to just copy paste everything else from the other one and put it right in there. Okay, good. Am I recording right now? Yeah, okay. Uh, once that's done, you have your second constructor here. It's going to complain because we haven't done this. The item constructor here with the value. And we're going to have to do that as well here. We're going to have to go and call this one from the melee weapon and so on and so on. Uh, but this is pretty much what's going to be default for all weapons, all of these things. And then we're going to go ahead and remove, we're going to keep that. We're just going to say this damage min, this damage max equals damage max, this range equals range. Good. So now we have something that is not totally default. And that's a very good thing. Now we have to choose in our melee weapon and all that what we want to use. So if we go to our melee weapon.cpp, which should be right here, you'll see we're just using the default one. But here I want to use something else. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Go to your weapon.h, copy these three uh, parameters and put them in your melee weapon that just organize it so you have it right here melee weapon h cpp go to your h file paste that right in there good like that go to your melee weapon cpp do the same thing paste that in there but call don't forget to call the correct one here so i'm gonna do damage min damage max and then range and call the correct one and you should be set. It shouldn't be anything more than that. Uh, we're setting the type as well. We're good. And now, somewhere in the game, it's going to complain. Somewhere in player, it's going to complain that we haven't given it enough values. Uh, player, 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 player here. And then we're creating a sword here with the wrong amount of things. So let's give it a 5 max 2 minimum. And then a range of uh, 60, no, 69. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see why that is complaining. Uh, oh, because we forgot sword. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry about that. Go to your sword. This is a good way to just check everything. Open sword, CPP, and H. They should pop up here. Do the same thing you did in, in melee weapons. So just copy these three. Paste them right there. This shouldn't need explaining. Do the same thing in sword, paste them, new line, new line, 
and just do damage min. Remember to put these in the correct place, okay? Max damage or and range. Once that's done, this shouldn't complain anymore in player. You'll see it's not red anymore. And you'll run this and you'll be fine and good to go. New game. Okay, so now my range is going to be a little bit. Oh, 46. Damn. I, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. That's very interesting. Uh, weapon. Okay, I was getting some weird values because I put damage max at damage min and damage min at damage max. So you want to switch those over. I was trying this too. This does work. So you want to put 60 on there still. And now finally we're going to run it and it shouldn't give me some weird values like I saw there. So new game. Okay, so it's going to give me 3, 5. See, 5 was my damage max. 4, 2. So you're getting some good values now. Not having any issues. And it looks nice, looks clean, looks fine. And now we can create a kind of a custom weapon here. And we're going to have to load in these as well. We'll see how we're going to do that. This is very much a default hard-coded value. Uh, and I want to I wanna get all the weapon things posted or loaded into one big texture texture container. But still, this is fine for now. We're working with this. Now we can attack, we get some random numbers. What I want to do in our text tag system in the next video is just add a little post or prefix to any type of text tag popping up so we can so we can print that out next to it. And sometimes it's important if you want to write 10 exp, 10 hp, 1 hp, whatever. Just make it a little more flexible and it should be fine. But thanks so much for watching this video. In the next one hopefully we'll get started in, on all the other stuff we're talking about. But this was kind of important to do. And you saw some errors that can occur while doing it, unintentionally or whatever, but still you saw them. And uh, hopefully you learned something new. But thanks so much for sticking with me. Take care. Check out the description box, top right eye icon as well. And just enjoy. Keep working hard. I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.